Hello once again and welcome to another new uh, topic on biology and of course today we're going to look at transport system, the one you call the circulatory system. Alright, do not forget that these tutorials are brought to you by the O3 Schools Jam CBT practice application. Okay, and as you can see very evidently from your Jam syllabus, transport system or the circulatory system is part of the syllabus that we are to consider as JAMB or YX students, okay? So as to prepare you in NS, make sure that what you sit back, relax and enjoy yourself, okay? We finished uh, the digestive system, all right? And of course, I'm, uh, a lot of people enjoy the class, so I'm sure that you also will enjoy this class. But please ensure you click on the share button, click on the share button right now as you are watching, Click on it, click on it immediately, all right? Click on the like button and also drop a comment, okay? After this class or even right now, because all of these interactions make other students to be easily able to find these videos and also learn and succeed as you, all right? These tutorials are brought to you by the OT School Jam CBT Practice Application. Okay, if you have made a decision to pass your jam exam at once and never to write it again in your life, get that application on your phone, download it from Play Store and activate it. We will talk about the features of the app in a moment. Let us see a jam pass question from this uh, aspect we are going to consider today. This is a uh, biology 2014 question number 15 from the O3 Schools Jam app. It says, a circulatory system is very essential in mammals but not in smaller organisms like amoeba because, I repeat, a circulatory system is very essential in mammals, but not in smaller organisms like amoeba because A says diffusion is sufficient to transport materials in amoeba. B says amoeba lacks blood containing hemoglobin. C says amoeba exhibits anaerobic uh, respiration. D says amoeba lives in fresh water. Okay, so we're going to come back to this question and many more at the end of the class and not before because at O3 schools, we believe in giving you value first. Let us teach you. And after we have taught you, answering question will be the list of your problem. So please ensure you download the O3 School Jam app from Play Store immediately. The app has all the past questions that you need for your exam under the practice for UTME. All right. So if you do not know that the exam you write is UTME and not Jam, okay, but Jam exam, as you may call it, practice for UTME, you see all the past questions for all the subjects there. So you don't need to buy any past question outside. What is more is that we also have the classroom feature with lecture notes structured according to the jam syllabus. Also, the jam syllabus is present in the classroom. So you don't need to go and be looking for jam syllabus up and down. The recent jam syllabus is in the classroom. And then what's more, this question search feature. After studying a particular topic, you can go to the question search feature and search for question under that topic. And all the questions that jam has set from that topic will come out for you to answer. Wonderful, right? So it makes it far, far more better than what having your your paper pass question. And what's more also is that we have the mock challenge. We conduct a mock challenge for all students that are writing JAM for this year. In that challenge, all students come to the app every Saturday morning by 10 a.m. Not just one mock, many, several mocks. Okay, they compete with each other to win amazing prizes every weekend. And what is more is that they get it to jam pass questions, they get it to jam likely exam question. They familiarize themselves with how jam can twist and what and Shuren, Shuren questions. Okay. Um, the, uh, after that, we also release your results. Thereby, you cannot be scared when they say jam as with this result because this is something I've been seeing regularly being done after competitive mock exams. All these are meant to what bring out the best in you and make you succeed in your exam and pass your exam at once. So please download the app, activate it, okay? And the price of activation is not up to the price of rice and chicken in a good restaurant. Please do not be stingy. This is your future you are talking about here. Download the application, activate it, start immediately. All right, so let us go to the board today as look at the transport system. So please make sure you like this video, make sure you share, share, click on the share button and drop a comment, please. Please, I will need that on Master T, we need that and beg you. Click on make sure you share so that share on Facebook, share to your class group, share to somebody. All right. Now, let us see the transport system. Let me begin with an illustration. All right. Uh, let's say, for example, uh, you bought a new bike. Okay. A new Okada. The one you call the Okada. So, okay. So, when you bought a new bike, uh, you started kicking it. You know how to kick it now. Or maybe there's a switch now that they press on the handle that makes the bike to come on. So you have been pressing that button, it's refusing to answer you. Okay? You have used the manual one, your leg, to do 
Chingong, Chingong, it refuses to answer you. Then, of course, you know that there is a problem somewhere. It's possible that well, there's no fuel in the bike. Okay? It's also possible that there's no oil okay, in the bike. So the bike will not move. It will not move. No matter how you try, it will not what move because it is no what fear. Okay? That is how the human body is. The human body is a complex machine. The human body is a complex machine requiring many processes, requiring many processes for it to function. It's a complex machine requiring many processes for it to function. By the way, if I clean this, this is our number on WhatsApp, 091 In case you want to download the Jump app, our old school Jump app, just send a message to that number on WhatsApp, okay? And we we'll answer you. In case you want to activate, send a message to that number on WhatsApp. In case you have paid for the activation and you want the, uh, the, the key generated for you, send a message to that number on WhatsApp. Our customer care agent will always be online to attend to you, all right? So now, like I said, the human body is a complex machine requiring several, several processes for it to work, to function, okay? And um, for it to function properly without any hitches, without any problem, without any dilemma, okay? Vital components, vital elements have to be what? Have to be what? Transported to what? To various parts of the body for it to function what? Properly. For it to function what? Properly, all right? And that is what where we talk about what transport what system, all right? So in your body, for it to function properly, the what? The heart has to pump blood, and this role is undertaken by the circulatory system or the transport system, delivering nutrients, delivering minerals, delivering uh, and even removing what's metabolic waste materials from what from the body or away from the body. Okay, so that is what I'm going to look at in NS. We're going to look at the transport system. All right. So, but before we talk about um, uh, transport system in, the, in in full, okay, in full, we're going to first of all look at what uh, transport system adopted or developed by some simple uh, unicellular organisms or simple organisms and simple what multicellular organisms, and then we'll talk about media of transportation in this class. All right. In the next episode, we'll talk about blood. All right. Then we'll continue with the lymphatic system. All right. We'll, we'll talk about transport in higher plants, and then of course we'll be done with. We'll talk about the heart also, okay? We'll talk about the heart in very, 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 very huge details, all right? And then what will be done with what with the whole of the class, okay? So now, we have said that what that transport system or the circulatory system, okay, consists of a network of what, of, uh, I'm talking about the human body now, consists of what, of a network of what, of your arteries, your veins, and your what, and your capillaries delivering what, nutrients, Living nutrients to what to various parts of what of the body and also what removing waste materials from the what from the body. Okay, but first of all, let's look at um, transporting what in simple what uh, uh, organisms. Okay, so we say transport system adopted by living organisms depends on the surface area to volume ratio. Depends on the surface area to volume ratio of the organism. The transport system developed by a living organism. Please take note of that. Okay, the transport system developed by a living organisms depends on the surface area, surface area to volume ratio. That is what S A to what to volume what ratio of the organism. Surface area to volume ratio of the organism, and this surface area to volume ratio of the organism is a measure of what of the surface area of an organism to, to what per unit volume per unit what volume okay it's a measure of the surface area of, of an organism per unit what volume okay so now said unicellular organisms such as amoeba as you can see paramecium and chlamydomonas usually possess a large surface area to volume ratio as they obtain their materials and remove their waste products by simple diffusion. Okay, they what they obtain and then they remove what waste materials by what by simple diffusion. Simple unicellular organism. Okay, even simple organisms like uh, flatworms. Okay, also, but right, they what they they also what uh, remove what uh, obtain and remove what uh, 
uh, minerals or materials, okay, from what? From the world, from the body, okay, by simple diffusion. Diffusion is, is, is a passive transport mechanism. It's a passive transport mechanism, okay, whereby what? Molecules move from a region of higher concentration to a region of a lower concentration. You know what diffusion is, right? Diffusion, the movement of molecules from region of higher concentration to region of a lower concentration, all right? So it's from high to low, okay? So we said that what? That simple organism, simple organism, you insert organisms such as amoeba, like paramecium, like clamadomonas, usually possess a large surface area to volume ratio, okay? They have what? A large surface area to volume ratio as they obtain their materials and remove their waste product by simple diffusion. Now, let me explain more about what surface area to volume ratio Okay, uh, what it means here is that, what, that the exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide, okay, in the body of these simple organisms, okay, is done by what? By what? They can rely, these organisms can rely on diffusion for exchange of what? Of oxygen and what? Carbon dioxide and what? In their body, what system? Okay, and what does this mean? It means that what? That uh, the smaller an organism is, the higher the surface area to volume ratio. Please take note of that. That the smaller, the smaller an organism is, okay, the smaller an organism is, the higher the surface area to volume ratio. Let me put that down. Huh? Now, the smaller an organism is, the greater or the larger the surface area to, vo to volume ratio. The smaller an organism, comma, the larger the surface area to volume ratio, okay? What this means is that as an organism increases in size, okay, the surface area to volume ratio, that is this SA, okay, ratio or volume decreases, it falls, okay? Because what happens is that what? That uh, delivering of what? Of nutrients, of what? Of materials, okay? Uh, uh, by, uh, to the cells becomes less efficient. Okay, because of the increase in size. So if the size of the organism is small, it will have a larger surface area to volume ratio. Okay, if the size of the organism is large, it will have what? Smaller surface ratio to what? To what? So, uh, so, rather, smaller surface area to what? To volume ratio. Please take note of that. If the organism is small, larger surface area to volume ratio. If the organism is what is large, it has what? Smaller surface area to volume ratio. Take note of what? Of that as an organism increases in size. Okay, as an organism what increases what inside the surface area to volume ratio what decreases. The surface area to volume ratio what decreases. Okay, please take note of what of that. So also some some simple multicellular organisms such as tapeworm, tapeworm, due to their flat structure also possess large surface area to volume ratio and can also transport substances by simple diffusion, okay? So by simple diffusion also, flatworms, okay, sorry, tapeworms rather, can also what, uh, carry out what diffusion, okay, to deliver what materials, okay, and remove what waste product away from the world or their body. So they, they can use what diffusion process what, to what, for, for that transport what mechanism. They can adopt, they can rely on diffusion. Now, Complex multicellular organisms, however, develop a transport. They have to develop a transport system for the transport of substances. Okay? Complex multicellular organisms develop a transport system for transport of what? Of substances. Take note of what? Of all this. Now, I'm talking about the media for transportation. This video is going to be very short because we just want to quickly what introduce what uh, transport system and in the next class we talk about blood, all right? So that is where uh, it becomes so becomes very very serious. So this is very important because it uh, appears also in your what in your jam, okay? In your jam pass question, that's why we are, we are treating it, all right? So now media for transport, okay? So in plant and animals, transportation takes place through a fluid medium. Transportation takes place through a fluid what medium okay in plants and animals okay in plants okay transport is played what through what is sap okay sap sap is found in the what in the xylem cells okay it's found in the xylem or cells so i want to talk about them trachytes and so on okay so do not just just be patient you are going to enjoy transport as much as you enjoy water just for system okay so now uh media for transportation in plant animal transportation takes place through a fluid medium in plants the sap while in animals, the media for transportation is what? Is blood and what? 
and leaves. Okay, okay, for in animals, blood and leaves, in plants, the sap. Okay, that is what is that is found in what in the xylem cells. Okay, so now uh, the blood and the lymph. Okay, we're going to talk about blood. We're going to talk about what are uh, the lymphatic system also. All right, so please ensure that what you you open your heart to learn and what and enjoy the classes with us and make sure you are sharing these videos. Okay, to others. So let us see a jump past question uh, concerning this and then we we'll, we we'll, we we'll, we'll prepare for the next class. We'll talk about what are uh, uh, blood. All right. Uh, so now let us see uh, twenty fourteen number fifteen. They say a circulatory system is very essential in mammals, but not in smaller organisms like amoeba because they say circulatory system is very essential in mammals, okay? But not in smaller organisms like amoeba because I think you can answer the question now, all right? So please, I'm not going to answer this question. Drop the answer in the comment section, okay, of this whole video. Say is A, say is B, say is D, say is E. Even if it is F, drop it in the comment section and explain the reason, all right? So my name is Master T. And of course, I would like to see you in the next episode where we'll continue talking about what transport was system. See you there.